What's up Nets fans? That's right, that's right. Yes, Nets fans, we know a lot has been going on. This is your coronavirus free zone, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. Guys, I hope you guys be washing your hands. Don't believe the hype, people. People, you, we about to be locked in. So, I figured I'd give you guys some content. Since we don't have any content like games, uh, I give you guys some stuff to think about, right? Let's talk about Dean Weedy, my G! Everybody, everybody in the world knows me, knows that he is my favorite Nets player. Uh, Karis is up there too. Katie and Kyrie, you guys will get there. I haven't seen enough of you guys yet. But these guys have, on the Nets that is, these guys have been, um, I've been with these guys and, and specifically Dinwiddie, he is my G, he is my dog. I hear a lot of trade rumors, I'm not gonna talk about that this particular video, but what we are going to do in this one, let's get inside the mathematics and see what kind of season Dinwiddie has been having for us, which has been stellar. And let's talk about that non-all-star appearance as well. All right, and what a travesty it was. Let's go to the first number, the first number is... 42 on these guys by the way on the road <laughs> money anyway first number is 20.6 20.6 you guys come on you guys can figure that one out then when he is averaging 20.6 that's 21 points per game that number represents his uh, 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 career high as well um, most of the numbers that I'm going to say that are favorable uh, represents his career high. Then when he has been having a stellar season, he's been holding it down. Not only is he our leading scorer, he's also leading our team in assists as well, which we're going to get to. The next number is... Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before we get to that, uh, his assist numbers, 20.6 is 23rd in the NBA. So, top 24 players. That's what they picked for the All-Star game. He's 20 top 23 scorers. Okay, well, we have that part. All right? He's at least a top 23 scorer. Let's keep moving. Uh, and he was better than that, guys. He was better than that. Karras then got in and his number, his numbers went down, but he was scoring about 22 a game, guys. No lie. Check. Around All-Star break. You check and see if I'm lying. But, Regardless, 20.6 is 23rd in that. Let's talk about his next number, which is 6.8. 6.8. 6 represents, I already talked to you about it, the assist. My man has been dimes, dimes, dimes. Dishing it out, giving, uh, like, uh, then what he has been, nothing short phenomenal. The only reason that we're in the predicament we're in, in terms of being even in a playoff picture, is because of Spencer Dinwiddie. Yes! Spencer Dinwiddie, and shout out to Kenny Atkinson too. Ah, miss you buddy. But, um, Spencer Dinwiddie has played like an all-star. Let me tell you, uh, 6.8, that represents top 18 in assists. So he was top 23 in scoring, top 18 in assists. Still didn't make the all-star team, and that is a travesty. Let's keep moving on. The next number that we're gonna talk about is, let me look at my notes, seven. Then when he averages seven free throws a game, he puts pressure on opponents by getting to the line very often. This is also a career high, yes. I told you, most of the numbers we're gonna talk about that's favorable, like he gets to the line. That's why he's, he's, you know, that's his thing. That's his thing. And one, and one. Even if they foul him, motherfucker's gonna be like, and one, and one, and one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, guys, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, he's been nothing short than phenomenal. Like I said, he gets there seven times a game. That's, that's damn near. I think that's top three. If it's not top three right now, it is definitely top five in the NBA. Getting to the last. It's top five, top 18, top 23. And we were top seven in the East. I know y'all don't respect the East, but damn, he couldn't get an all-star now. We had no all-stars. Come on. Y'all better than that. Coaches, y'all better than that. You know what I mean? Let's keep moving on. The next number is 
not a good number. It's 30.8%. 38, I mean 30.8%. I wish it was 38. What does that represent? I told you it's not a good number. Then when he attempts a career high seven threes a game, but he only shoots 30.8%. This must, and I believe it will. All right, he's shooting. He's listen. He's the guy right now. Okay, him and Karis are the guys. They are the scoring punches. They are the scoring on our team, predominantly them. And then Joe Harris. He, he adds in some stuff there too. Uh, guys. Then when he does not shoot that shitty from the three-point line, you know he just doesn't. I don't believe he he does. I, I believe that he's a he's more of an average three-point shooter than a below-average three-point shooter. It's just that even his field goal percentage, I think it's 41 this year, and he's he's always shot 43 or better. So guys, with that said, I'm telling you the reason why it's like that is because he feels like he got a force. Sometimes he, he takes some bad shots when he's back into the complimentary role or the bench role where he coming when, when he's coming off the bench I believe those will increase because he'll he'll have to take better shots and he's gonna pick and choose his spots. He's still a he's still a young player, you know what I mean? But I see good things for my man Dinwiddie. That is Dinwiddie. That is it really that is it for this particular episode of DK Network. It's your boy Mizzle. Please do not forget to follow us on the gram. We're gonna get it together. We're still trying to get it together with some more content for you, but we haven't given up. Um, so please follow us at BK Let's Work on the gram. Um, please make sure you subscribe to this video. Subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can get more of these videos as soon as they drop. It's your boy Mizzle. Then with is my G. We out of here, baby.